over the river and through the woods. Well, I think technically we didn't cross over the river. We just went by, I think. Anyway, to grandmother's house we go. That is amazing. <laughs> Cane chitwood, everybody, right here. <laughs> you try to line up the edge pieces where they're opposite, so you have like the green, the green and yellow, and the green and white. Since so yellow and white are opposite, you just want to line those up opposite to each other in the same way, the same way with green and red. Santa, Here's the snowman, penguin. <laughs> <laughs> Manny picked Santa, Sissy picked the snowman, and Jonah picked the penguin. Mama's looking worried, will the pie be ready in time? Papa's out getting a tree while my sister and me are writing verses and rhymes. Christmas Eve everybody. We just got back. Now I'm starting the broccoli cheddar soup. So if y'all saw yesterday's video, you know I told y'all I was gonna start it in the slow cooker. Yeah, that didn't happen this morning. So we're just gonna make it on the stove top real quick. Broccoli cheddar soup. I got tea going back there. Lots of Christmas Eve excitement happening. We'll cook the broccoli and onions and butter for about five minutes. The good thing about this is it doesn't take long to cook it on the stove top anyway, so. It's just the broccoli. Everyone remain calm. It'll, it'll be, <laughs> they're having flashbacks of that time I vacuum sealed broccoli. I'm gonna cover it there for just about four to five minutes and I'll be getting the other stuff we need. Chicken broth, salt, pepper, a little bit of flour, heavy cream, and sharp cheddar cheese. Virginia. Tennessee. Let's go with uh, Iowa. Papa used to help pigs up there. Okay, we're putting in the chicken broth. We need about four or five cups. We'll put some salt and pepper. Just a little bit of ground thyme. And some garlic powder. Now we'll bring this to a simmer. Let it simmer for about eight minutes. I'm gonna mix a couple of tablespoons of flour with a cup of heavy cream and just sit that over to the side because once this finishes simmering we'll add that and the cheese in here. Go 
tell it on the mountain Over the hills and far away Go tell it on the mountain That Jesus Christ is born While shepherds kept their watching Over silent flocks by night Behold throughout the heavens They shone a holy light Go tell it on the mountain Over the hills and far away Go tell it on the mountain That Jesus Christ is born The shepherds feared and trembled When low above the earth Rang out the angel chorus That hailed our Savior's birth Go tell it on the mountain Over the hills and far away Go tell it on the mountain That Jesus Christ is born You ready to wrap some presents? He's gonna stay up with me this year and help me wrap. He already was wrapping some while we were gone. Oh, I wasn't wrapping, I was bagging. Bagging, right, he did bags, but still, that, that counts. Well, y'all don't realize, this house looked like a tornado. Like it did the other day, just it like it did the other day. It looked like a tornado <laughs> hit, and I gotta be honest with you, we couldn't do a, our Christmas like that. So. Right, see, what happened was, again, he decided that he could restain the floors and everything, is that what you call it? Well, what I've done is I've kind of antiqued these floors a little Before bit. Before Christmas, and he did yeah. it. He made it. Well, I wanted it to match the beams and all. I made these beams to look like you beat them out with an axe, you know, to make it kind of have a rustic feel. Turn the light on so you can see. All right, so I, I burnt the floor. I went in here and I put some, uh, you know, some character to the floor. And I left some lighter spots like this right here. So it looks like it was, you know, walked on and in war. I didn't overdo it, but I just made it feel more broke in. Now we still got some trim to do, a lot more painting, but this is, you know, and then we gotta get new blinds and we still got a little bit of painting to do around the windows over here. We left that two tone. We wanted yeah, we it wanted like it that way, yeah. So mm -hmm. we did the brown on the outside and the sandy clay on the inside. Still and see, those. it matches the the brown is gondola and the light is sandy clay. It matches, it all pulls in here with the stairs, yeah. see? That's where we're hiding our paint cans. <laughs> I didn't see the wall. I put a two by six wall in right here. Mm -hmm. And I trimmed it out old timey with one before's natural. It didn't do anything as far as any type of, uh, any kind of uh, 45s or anything on this, I didn't. Now these beams, I 45 those, the one that goes across the middle I was going to 45 all of them, but I ended up not 45 in these because it's a long story. The way these was, some was on a different degree. I mean, I got them joined perfectly up there, but some was on like 14. One was three and a half up here and three and three quarters down there. It was going to be a really, really, really tricky thing to do without a really good table saw, and I didn't have one, so I didn't 45 those. Up here, I did. Mm -hmm. because that was it was possible to get that dead right uh, like that. But anyway, they all turned out really, really rustic looking. It looks just like you beat them out with a hat. Please leave a light on for Christmas For all who spend it on their own Please leave a light on for Christmas and maybe one so lost can finally find a home please keep your hopes up for christmas